Hey gang, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up With The Pom Pons. In this hair tutorial, we have my oldest daughter, Kalia, with her a Type 3 4A curls. And she is going to be showing you her natural hairstyles for the school week. So we're going to show you guys how we achieve these looks, the products that we use, and also give you a little bit of her hair routine throughout the school week. Let's go ahead and, and get started. So you already know the drill. Before we go any further, do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey, bestie. Hey, mama. Hey, friend. Hope you are being blessed and safe as always. So here we have Kalia here. This was a hairstyle that she wore for maybe four or five days. As you can see, her hair is definitely in need of some moisture and some care, a little bit of detangling. So the first product that I always go in when it comes to styling Kalia's hair into any hairstyle it's always going to be water I pick up water first I rarely style Kalia's hair while it is dry and the only time that does happen is if her hair is already in a stretched out like blow dried state but when it's in her curly state it's just a lot easier for both her, myself and her that I wet her hair and I'm very liberal with that spray bottle I am just working that water through and we're, I'm also kind of finger detangling and getting out any loose hair that may be like trapped up in there. This is a lot of hair, so it takes time and patience. So once I work the water in the way, or at least to the saturation of my liking, I'm then gonna go in with the Textured ID Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is a very thick and creamy lotion it's not much of a cream it's more of a it has that lotion kind of consistency and I love that it adds the perfect amount of moisture to her dry hair it really brings her hair and her curls back to life so here I am trying to create a part going across the crown of her head from ear to ear and as you see I'm still adding in that water if I come across a patch of hair that's just a little too dry to my liking and I can see that is making Kalia very uncomfortable as I'm trying to detangle it adding more water really does help it and here i'm showing a more close-up view of that, that daily moisturizing lotion as you can see it's very thick and luxurious not watery at all and it, i just love this product there's not too many products from the texture id line that i do not like and i use it for all of my girls since they have like a wavy um, line a curly line as well as a coily line so I like to use this lotion as pretty much a leave-in conditioner so once I've worked that product in I'm then gonna go in with the tangle teaser this is literally the only <laughs> hair tool that I can use on Kalia without her like screaming and hollering um using wide tooth combs any kind of like other detangling tool just does not work for her and this is a product that works for myself and all my other girls so I speak highly of the tangle teaser so for this style I want to pull her hair back into a low ponytail and I wanted her hair to be kind of free we rarely style Kalia's hair in like this free just let it hang <laughs> kind of style I always have her hair in some kind of braids or twists something that doesn't um, have her hair just loose for people to play with for her to play with for it to become a distraction in class Kalia has a lot of hair and it does you know bring attention to her friends and to other people they love to talk about her hair which is great there's nothing bad about that at all but when it comes to hair health I do not style her hair in this kind of style often. This is literally like maybe a once every three months kind of style for Kalia. And that's just so, she, you know, she can also enjoy her hair because she loves her hair. She loves to wear it free and have it just curly and just out there. And I love that for her. Um, but for, you know, hair retention, it's not this is style I would not consider to be a protective style so this is a style that she will wear for maybe a day or two and then we will have to restyle it um immediately one because keeping her hair out like that can cause a lot of tangling and unnecessary knots when it does come time for me to restyle her hair and it also changes up her hair routine for the night I have to go in and retwist the hair or add in satin scrunchies to keep the hair from knotting into itself 
um so for me this just isn't an easy hairstyle because of the maintenance that comes with it so i did a flat twist across the crown of her hair and i just wanted something simple so that her edges wouldn't be you know too strained from this ponytail i added in a little bit more gel to kind of secure those flyaways and that was pretty much it i added a cute little scrunchie at the end that kind of like matched her outfit she loved that she's kind of getting a little big for the hair bows that i do on boo and kehlani and that's kind of heartbreaking but i understand my baby girl is trying to become her own little individual she wants to try to do grown-up things so here is the end look i took the the twist out that we had in the back and her curls look amazing and I would love for her to wear that more often but this is two days later this is what her hair looks like two days later I'm struggling trying to get the the scrunchie out of her hair her hair is really dry and really frizzy and as you can see she's all wet ready like kind of flinching from me trying to resaturate the hair and kind of finger detangle before I go in with the tangle teaser so once we removed everything, I go in with my water once again. Like I said, water is going to be my number one product when it comes to restyling Kalia's hair. If I'm not restyling her hair, then I'm going to wash her hair and that like, even then her hair is still going to be soaking wet. I rarely ever style Kalia's hair without it being wet. So as you can see here, we have a nice like little matted spot back here in the back where that ponytail was hanging out. And I am trying my best to kind of work through it. I do not rip her hair apart. As you can see, I'm kind of like teasing it a little bit. I work at it in small sections until I get that part that I want. I'm trying to create a half part going from the forehead to the nape of the neck. And so this is going to take take time it's going to take a lot of patience don't just go in and start ripping the hair part that is definitely going to hurt the hair retention and the hair growth so here i'm also going to section off uh, the front of her head i want to add a small cornrow right there whenever i do like a big ponytail on kalia's hair i don't I, I try to take her edges out of the ponytail because that is where most of the strain is going to come from having her hair in that ponytail. Her edges are going to feel it the most. So if I am going to do it, I, I style her edges into a separate style, whether it be a twist or a braid. For this style, we went with a braid and then I continue on with styling the rest of her hair into the ponytail. And even so, if I do include her edges into the ponytail, I make sure to not keep that ponytail in for long or I try not to um, secure the hair tie too tightly. And I'm, I am, I have a bad habit of securing hair ties really tight. And my girls are luckily, they're, they're, they know to look for those signs like, mommy, this hurts or mommy, this is uncomfortable. And I make sure to listen, like I'm not going to strain their hair. And it just takes that little bit of, you know, knowing your child's hair and knowing you know how tight or too tight a ponytail may be that you have to go back in and redo it so I decided to do a banding method with this um, ponytail this time um, after we allowed it to be free the last couple of days I was not gonna let her do it again so this is something more uh, along the lines of what I do for her regular like natural hairstyles rather than letting her hair be free and this Oh my gosh, banding is like the perfect way to keep moisture locked in. So this is going to be the last hairstyle for the school week. As you can see, I'm kind of checking her scalp. This is my telltale way of making sure, you know, wash day is either near or we need to do it right now. The banded ponytail definitely helped with her hair locking and keeping in that moisture. When her hair is free, moisture falls out a whole lot freely. Um, so I decided to do a like high puff we thought it would be really cute to kind of do like a high puff style so again her hair is going to be in a big ponytail i'm going to take her the front part of her hair out the edges are going to be secured in a different type of pon uh, or style just to kind of keep that tension from pulling out her edges and kalia already ha kind of has frayed edges to begin with um just from uh, you know style manipulation so I do try to keep that in mind when it comes to restyling her hair so I decided to do like a kind of like a crisscross style so we did where the cornrows were previously stalled I pretty much just 
parted those off into small squares and secured those using elastic rubber bands and I make sure not to have the rubber bands too tight around her edges and if they are I take them out and redo it so this is what it looks like with the first row and now I'm going to part off a second row to create the, those the same amount of small uh, squares to do our crisscross method I haven't added any additional products other than the gel just to kind of help with those partings being nice, neat, and clean. Um, but that is it. There, there wasn't any other creams or lotions added to her hair from the previous hairstyle. Um, and I, I kind of just do it as on a as needed basis. If her hair looks dry and water isn't sufficing, then I'll add in like a light lotion, nothing too heavy because she's on her third style for the week, and we don't want to have a bunch of uh, product buildup and Kalia experiences a lot of product buildup when it comes to close to her wash day so usually just adding some um, water in there can help her out and she's good to go until her next wash day so this is what the crisscross looks like we did some yellow and orange rubber bands because I want to use some uh, sunflower clips on her high puff so I'm pulling her hair all up taking the tangle teaser to kind of smooth it out as much as possible and I added some gel as well to the back to keep that nice and clean and we're going to go in with our ponytail holder now this is one of my methods to get her hair into a ponytail holder without having to like pull it through multiple times um, I kind of just wrap the ponytail holder around the base of the ponytail and then I just kind of like loop it through each other bring it back around and I just tuck that the remainder of the band underneath the the ponytail um, and then I decided to uh, try out this little method here where you kind of like bubble a, a part of the ponytail and then I was going to create like this big high puff I, I don't know what this method is called but I see it a lot on my TikTok and I decided to try it out on Kalia as you can see she's falling asleep on me this was a late night hairstyle so she was ready to go to bed I think she had karate that night so she was tired so all I'm doing is pretty much just folding the hair over and just kind of teasing it playing around with it adding in extra ponytail holders to secure it and make sure it's not going to like come loose and then I'm going to decorate it with some sunflower flower clips and butterflies. And that is going to complete this video tutorial on Kalia's three natural hairstyles for the school week. Thank you guys for joining us on a, another hair tutorial. If there's any questions you have on Kalia's hair routine and maintenance, please leave them down below in the comment and we will make sure to get back with you. Thank you guys for joining us. Be blessed and be safe.